Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to provide a valid conclusion when we're given the premises of an argument. In this case, we have anyone who's not a monkey is happy, no monkeys are honest, the unkind are unhappy, no comedians are dishonest, and one can rely on kind people. You might have noticed that these statements don't make much sense, but that's okay. What we're focused on is if we assumed these statements were true and we used valid reasoning, what conclusion could we come to? So the first step is going to be to write each statement in if-then form. If you have a statement of the form all P's or Q's, that's equivalent to the statement if P then Q. For example, if I say all monkeys have cars, that's equivalent to saying if it's a monkey, then it has a car. And because no P's or Q's is the same as saying all P's are not Q's, we can translate that into if P then not Q. For example, if we say no monkeys have cars, that's the same as saying all monkeys do not have cars. So we could say if it's a monkey, then it does not have a car. So let's start with the statement, anyone who is not a monkey is happy. So that has the same meaning as all of those who are not monkeys are happy. So we can think of the not being a monkey as being the P characteristic and being happy as being the Q characteristic, which means we can write this statement as if one is not a monkey, then one is happy. Now let's look at no monkeys are honest. This is a no P's are Q's situation where P is the characteristic of being a monkey and Q is the characteristic of being honest. So this is gonna translate into if P then not Q. If one is a monkey, then one is not honest. The third statement, the unkind are unhappy, could be thought of as all those who are unkind are unhappy. So that's an all P's or Q's where P is the characteristic of being unkind and Q is the characteristic of being unhappy. So in if P then Q form, if one is unkind, then one is unhappy. Next we have no comedians are dishonest. So that's gonna fit the no P's are Q's pattern, which we can translate into if P then not Q, where P is being a comedian and Q is being dishonest. So we have if one is a comedian, then one is not dishonest. And finally, one can rely on kind people. This one's a little bit tricky, but if you think about it, saying one can be relied upon is the same as saying they are reliable. So one way we could think of this sentence is all kind people are reliable. So that fits the all P's or Q's where P is being kind and Q is being reliable. So in if P then Q form, we would have if one is kind, then one is reliable. So at this point, we have written each statement in if then form. Step two is to assign a symbol to each component of each of these statements, which is what we're going to do in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.